I don't know about nobody else. I only know about me. So let me tell you about me. To me, there is a difference between being a God-fearing man, a man of God, and a man after God's own heart. There is a difference to me. See, to be God-fearing, you just got to believe and fear that there is a creator that is bigger than you, that is higher than you, that created you. To me, that's what a God-fearing man is. That you know that there is a higher being that created you and he could take you out at any moment. That's a God-fearing man. There's also a man of God. See, there's some evil men out there that think that they are a man of God. Guess what? God created you. Okay, you're a man of God. If you were raised a certain way, believing in God, believing that God is, you will probably still consider yourself to be a man of God. But I'm looking at so much more because I'm looking at your ways. I'm looking at your mouth. I'm looking at your characteristics. I'm looking at your behavior. I'm looking at your actions. Are you really truly that? But there is a difference with being a man after God's own heart. Because let me tell you something. I don't consider myself to be like anybody else. And what that means is you are not going to be able to impress me by some of the things that other women are impressed by. You're not going to phase me by the surface things. I'm not going to be phased by the material things that you have, your bank account, your car, your status. That does not impress me at all. I want to know your heart. I want to see how can you love me without my eyes ever seeing you? What is your heart like? Show me your heart. See, I want to know, are you a man after God's own heart? Because see, if you are a man after God's own heart, that means you are getting to know God and his characteristics and his heart. Because when you spend time getting to know God, you want to be more like him. That means you're going to start changing to be like him. That's why I say that there is a difference between being a man of God, a God-fearing man, and a man after God's own heart. Because see, I know me. I am a woman after God's own heart. God has created me to be that. So I'm not going to be impressed by the worldly things, the surface things. I'm looking at the heart. And if I see anything in the heart that I do not like, it's a wrap. It's a wrap because I know it's going to take more time for you to change your heart than change anything else about you.